Welcome everybody, it's Homeworld Deserts of Karak. Got this the other day, big fan of the old Tiberian Sun games, Command and Conquer. Never played the Homeworld games though, so I'm new to this. Um, but yeah, it looks really cool, so <clears throat> let's do the tutorial. I love the design of this land crawler. Bloody amazing. So yeah, Gearbox is doing RTS. Can't wait to see what it's like. tutorial you'll learn the basics of how to play strike confirms objectives are displayed on the left these are your gameplay goals Move selected units by clicking the right mouse button on a position. Strike craft ready. Destination set. Hold shift when issuing commands to cue them. Uh -huh. Confirm. Okay. On our way. Oh wait, what? Cleared for move. <laughs> I went the wrong way round. Next you'll learn how to control the game camera. Okay. Scroll the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Oh wow. Hold the right mouse button and move the mouse to rotate and pitch the camera. That's Let's cool. Try this now. Press backspace to reset the camera to its default orientation. Whoa! Panning the camera is just as easy. Press the arrow keys on your keyboard. Welcome! Oh God, Hold down I'm the middle on the middle of a stream of this up. game. It's just That's like not loud. Command and Conquer, mate. It's awesome. Information about selected units is displayed on the bottom to left. That. I'll quit now. Command buttons like attack and move are displayed in the bottom right. This is a command carrier. It produces units for combat and resourcing. Oh my god, this is so awesome. The command carrier is your mobile headquarters. It's got Durable, multiplayer. Armed. Oh my god. You can yeah, press the we'll get our game or tilde key to select your carrier at any time. So I'm going to select Go my carrier, carrier and move him here. Move the carrier to the marked position. I think I did. <coughs> Location mark. There Press the F key to focus the game camera on selected units. The camera will follow Look at this thing. while still allowing you to zoom and rotate. Oh my God! Turn the it's camera a beast. in any direction to break focus. <coughs> Press the space bar to open the sensors manager. Sensors. Oh my God! What's this? You can select and move units within the sensors manager. Uh, Red icons represent enemy units. Ooh, enemies. White icons represent your units. Your oh. selected units are green. Orange and blue triangles represent resources. Hmm. Blue domes represent the sensor range or vision of your units. Enemy units within contact range are marked with a red circle. Oh As your units get closer, they'll be in sensor range of the enemy. Oh crap, there's enemies everywhere. At this point, you will see each enemy unit clearly. I've got more units. 
Reading. I uh, don't think it'll let me do that. All right. When issuing an attack move command, oh you'll God. see a red line drawn between the selected unit oh, and the wow. mouse cursor. When this line appears broken, the selected unit cannot fire on its target. This indicates that high terrain, or an obstacle, is blocking the unit's line of fire. You will therefore have to move units around the obstacle or onto high ground in order to achieve a clear line of fire. Select your light attack vehicles and use them to destroy the enemy units. Okay. You can right click an enemy unit to attack or press A and left click to attack move. To command your units to attack a group of enemies, hold the control key and drag a box around the target enemy units. Copy, target set. We copy. Board has been updated with hostile. Strike trap taking effective fire. Oh boy. Strike trap destroyed. Nice. It's like Mad Max Select out there. Select the command carrier now. The command it's carrier has a unique job. power shunting system Can used I to manage combat and fuel? production capability. <laughs> Add all available power to the turret network system. Add all power to turrets. Is that That's this? not allowed. What have I told you? Weapon systems online. <laughs> Hostile detected. Visual unconfirmed. Done. Enemy forces are attacking the carrier. Destroy them. Wait, destroy the... Okay. Target set. Can it kill them, can it? No. Uh, it doesn't look like... Oh Command my god! Carrier taking fire. Carrier is a badass. Hostile strike craft. With the right power distribution, Holy the crap. command carrier can hold its own in combat. Selecting a unit and pressing the move or attack move command button displays the terrain overlay. While the terrain overlay is active, some terrain is color shaded to display its relative height. The three colors of the terrain overlay represent high ground, low ground, and neutral ground. When a unit takes position on the high ground, it deals extra damage when attacking units on lower terrain. The enemy have deployed armored units. They have to the high ground. Way to defeat this enemy <laughs> force. It's so the most effective <laughs> from long range. They have the high However, ground. <laughs> they can be easily overwhelmed by short range strike craft. I got like you put my vehicles. flipping power. Alright, drag it by the for lockdown and ready. Use LAVs to destroy rail guns. Assign a control group by holding the control key and pressing a number key. Control Select one. the units in a control group by pressing the corresponding number key. Enemy railgun. Strike right. copies. Okay, let's Green go. line confirmed. Use oh. the boost ability on your light attack vehicles to intercept the enemy. Hostile on sensors. Select the light attack vehicles and left click the boost ability button. Then issue a move command. Why can't I move anymore? As what vehicle crews score kills in combat, they'll earn veterancy. Okay, the, the um... improves combat ability. To see veterancy, select a vehicle and it's mouse over right. the ability button. The tutorial the was a bit on rails the there, and it's just kind veteran of racing off also without have me. The veterancy badge <laughs> visible on their health bar in the main game viewpoint. It's going on about veterans and all sorts. When your forces are outnumbered, well, can, veteran like troops can turn the tide of battle. Okay. Oh wait, it won't be as good as this though. Here we go. Yes, fire on them! No, stay to the high ground. What are you doing? Oh well. Oh wow, they're mixed. Enemy real gun you. eliminated. Okay, so they were super effective. Green line confirmed. All right, use armored vehicles to destroy LAVs. Armored vehicles. Op ready. Where are the, uh, their LADs? Uh, ah, there they are. Right. Armor is on route. Sector alert. Hostile activity is being tracked in the area. Output to minimum on idle. Be ready Let's for contact. Let's not get next to the Sanford Gelfin Patrol. 
Enemy contacts on the board. Armored vehicle is taking fire. Contact on the board. Wipe them out. Strike craft destroyed. I like this line of sight mechanic, it looks really good. Wow, these things must be super slow, yeah they are. Hostile armor incoming. Copy, clear to engage. Oh look at that, they all just stop on the beachhead. They all just take their shots, that's pretty sick. Hostile armor eliminated. enemy has deployed a mixed attack force. Mixed no single sense. unit type will excel at destroying this target. However, aircraft can attack this force with impunity. Hostiles. Select the command carrier to launch aircraft. Go ahead. Green line. Launch aircraft by selecting the carrier and clicking the launch ability button. After left clicking the button, left click a target location to launch your aircraft. Where, what, who? Launch. While deployed, Aircraft can be selected and issued commands just like other vehicles. Once their ammunition is depleted, aircraft will automatically return to the command carrier to reload and repair. Oh crap, there, okay, yeah, yeah. Strike fighter approach vector dialed in. Green light. Excellent. Oh, nice. You have completed the tutorial. You're ready to explore the vast deserts of Capri. What? Oh, this is awesome. Alright, so now I suck just enough to try the game out. So, that's the tutorial done. So we'll be moving on to the campaign.